currently working on a Mazda 3. This has the LF engine in it. It's also got the engine light on. Uh, won't shift gear properly with fall code U0101. Last communication to the transmission control module. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what that fault was and how I rectified it. <laughs> Currently in a Mazda 3, this is in for uh, running issues, it went into limp home mode, transmission not shifting correctly and multiple fault codes on, on this vehicle. The main fault code that I'm concerning myself with today is U0101, lost communication to the TCM. So if you have that fault code, stay tuned, I'm going to tell you what that fix is now. And if you're just looking for the information on what caused this, it was in fact the transmission control module. I have done a number of these in the past. And how you confirm it with 100% certainty is check power and grounds at that transmission control module, having a wiring diagram to know which wires you're looking up, confirming that the fuses are all intact on that circuit and a communication is present on the CAN bus. Once you have all of that, you have confirmed the fault is present. But in reality, this is so common that if you have that fault code, it's very, very likely that that's the reason why. Injectronics is a company over here that repairs them. You can get a secondhand uh, known good one. It's a plug and play or you can possibly try and attempt to repair it because it's cracked solder joints that's in it, but that is the cause. So this is a 2010 Mazda 3 and it's going to have a lot of different faults when the likes of this problem comes up. So I'm making this into a short video. I'm going to show you what the problem is and then I'm just going to show you what the fix is. This is a common fault on these vehicles and I have diagnosed these previously, gone to the, um, to the lengths of uh, wiring diagrams, back probing and getting the scope out as well. But I'm just going to show you the fault code on the PCM, the main one that I'm concerned with. This could have running issues afterwards, which I will address uh, if all the fault codes don't go away. But with a communication fault like this, and that fault code U0101, uh, so retrieve the fault codes. The last communication to the TCM fault code on these Mazdas is related to the transmission control module. So this code here is the main one. There is some misfires that's present with the vehicle as well. When the voltage uh, of the battery is recharged up, when the TCM has been installed, I will recheck everything after a long test drive and see if there's some secondary faults that we need addressing. But if you have a lost communication with the TCM fault code, I'll show you where that TCM is, replace it, it's a plug and play, um, relearn the throttle body afterwards, charge up uh, the battery, make sure you have good voltage all round, bring it for an extended test drive and then uh, clear all the fault codes again and make sure everything is running right and you should be all good. So if you have that fault, that's your only issues, uh, clear that code after replacing the TCM. So. I'm going to show you the location of that TCM. I will show you what it's like after install. And what you're looking at here is the location of that transmission control module. So I'm shining the light down on it. That is the electrical connector that plugs into it. And what you can see that has been removed is the battery and the battery tray. So whereas the battery sits down, it has to be removed to gain access to this. That's me disconnecting it. Now, bear in mind, if you do want to do those tests on power and ground, you will have to hook the power back up again to actually confirm that. This is me removing that old TCM. It's held in by a three 10 millimeter uh, heads and once you have those out it's pretty much as straightforward as that the main reason for this fault is the location uh, the heat and vibration where it's mounted to are causing it to break down and uh, if it was in a different area it probably would have a much better life cycle here is the actual replacement part. It's a remanufactured part in this case. It has a different backing than what was on the old one, but it's ready to be installed now. 
And here is some close-up footage of that new transmission control module installed. I have the three tin mills uh, fitted back in and that's just the electrical connector that's to go back on. Do be cautious when installing or removing that you don't actually damage the lugs on the side of it. But other than that, a very straightforward installation. So I'm just on the final road test with this vehicle now and the good news is the transmission control module issue has been resolved. It's now not in limp home mode anymore. It's not stuck in gear and we're able to drive the vehicle with no issues. The warning light has not come back on and I've also scanned the system over here which I'll show you in a second and it's clear of all codes. One thing with this one, after doing the initial road test it had a fluctuating idle as well and when I was... Um, coming up to traffic lights slowing down that idle was at a point where it could actually cut out so what I did was clean the throttle body and I left the vehicle to idle for 20 minutes or so and that has evened out that problem so if you're having an issue with your idle in this type of vehicle as well make sure you check the throttle body for that carbon buildup clean it off and then uh, let it idle for a long period of time just to relearn values and you should be all good this is a scan reading showing that all systems are now good. No transmission fault codes, no anti-lock braking system fault codes, no engine fault codes. And this vehicle is ready to give back to the customer. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.